All right, guys, time for part seven. Trying to get it done in such a way that people can actually watch them before they start getting erased. So <laughs> that's just another half an hour, maybe a little bit more. Let's see. Here we are in here. We've been through a lot, haven't we? I bet your fiance isn't half the daredevil I am. Huh. Oh yeah. I've laid her down on a bed of roses. Well, rose hips to be precise. Oh yeah. The gentle touch of nature's itching powder. He got to love it. A one fish of the day, please. Ugh, I should have said which day. Yummy! Skewered anchovies. They had those when I was a kid, too. Wow, exactly those. Any foodie knows anchovies get better the longer they're stored. Oh, jeez. Mm. Mm. As much as I love all that sort of stuff. Actually, oh, I, I don't to like anchovies, but anyway. not bad. Stick. Great. Awesome. Whoopsie daisy. Of course. The switches change the lights. There are three on this side and one on the other. Hmm. Aha! One off, two on. I'm getting there. Oh, this selects the flavor of the cotton candy. Huh, seems to be broken. I'm sure I have to solve the problem first. I know how things are going down here. And three. That's six, isn't it? No, it's still broken. Alright, I have no idea. Let's have a look at the chewing gums. Chewing gum and fast. Oh, two viewers. What? Hmm. Thank I you, whoever's viewing me. Huh. Voice control seems to be broken. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Hey, there's something behind it. What the? A plug? Oh, man. You crazy? It can't be that easy. Huh. <laughs> One serving of cotton candy, please. I suppose the machine has no ears and no eyes. Otherwise, it'd be able to see who it's dealing with. Probably better off it doesn't, to be honest. Uh, I think some kind of stick has to go in there. Ooh, like the stick we found two seconds ago? Oh, I think maybe. So now we've got neutral. Great. Oh god, they have no significance, do they? Now it's set to calzone. What's calzone? Now it's set to fuck. Phosphor. This says discard cotton candy leftovers according to hazardous waste regulations. Ah, and a winking smiley emoticon underneath. And there I was beginning to get worried. for fairy floss. It's not fair. Hmm, must be empty. 
Must be empty. Okay, okay, okay. Must be empty. This doesn't say anything about flavors. There's a dancing cockroach to pick instead with a hat. Oh, just, oh hi! <laughs> How you doing? Jacket, it's empty. <laughs> Must be empty. Must be empty. Thing is, I know you gotta keep pressing it, and it's meant to give you gum eventually. <laughs> I know. Alright, I'm annoyed with this machine now. I don't care if I'm meant to be doing it. I'm, I'm leaving. That's the entrance to the candy shop. After Dad left me, I lived there for a week. It wasn't an hour. <laughs> Time passes so slowly when you're high on sugar. I bet. So sad, poor little f Dead. Is that better now that the sound's gone? No. Oh. There's a mount for the torch in the niche. There are mirrors around it to focus the light. That can only mean one thing. Or nothing. One <laughs> or zero. Brilliant. So I feel we're studying. It can mean one thing or nothing. Let's go to the tower. Doesn't look very towery. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Oh, if you don't have telekinetic powers later, I'm gonna hit you with a beef I'll grinder. Save my tele I'll save my tele. Okay, so pretty Ooh. deep and bright. Might be the nuclear reactor down there. Yeah, that would. But as long as nobody's watching, it would be oh, a total maybe. waste of effort. I mean, that's what I do with candy floss, you know, stick it into pools of shiny green shit. Wow! The cotton candy simply imploded! Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, okay, okay. Mount for the torch in the Same niche. Same thing. There are mirrors around it to focus the light. That can only mean one thing. Or zero. Or nothing. Well, one uh, uh. or zero. The only light back here. Oh, that little flying thing. Okay, so what do we got? Dirty mosaic. I believe there's a tool that was specifically designed to remove dirt. At least, I think Tony once mentioned something like that. <laughs> R. U. F. <laughs> that wasn't it. Maybe this? R. U. Nah, I've tried that. But what else could it be? It's a very good point. Okay. I'll take that mop. And the soap. And a bucket. So, look at it. Chewing gum. You already had chewing gum. This doesn't say anything about flavors. There's a dancing cockroach depicted instead with a hat and a cane. 
that's stupid. Do it. Hmm. Call her slip. I'll keep the rest for later. <laughs> Much later. How delicious. Oh, where am I? I need to go get some more fairy floss because I destroyed it. into the fixture. To shed light on the mosaic, the cotton candy would have to be on fire or something. Hmm. Then I'll take my cotton candy back then. Oh, of course it reacts to light. Hey, my epic Gregorian is back. I thought I'd left that behind at the crane. <laughs> and now, is that... Was it right to do that? Hmm. Huh. The mosaic depicts the upper class leaving the planet. The lower class remains behind. Wolves are really fed up. They shout at the traitors and shove barbecue liquors and sausages on giant forks in their faces. Must have been barbecue Thursday. I did not. I thought the word niche means so many different things. Such a niche word. <laughs> it's terrible. Huh. The mosaic depicts uh, a bunch of little guys. They seem to be building something. The raggedy clad little guys carry giant steel girders up a steep ramp. The fancily clad ones stand at the side oh, and design fancy me. ornaments. Hey, that's the Ascension Station. The departure to Elysium. And I'm there too. Mm -hmm. I'm there too. Perfect clean stuff. I say unbelieving. Soap. Mmm, foamy. Time to do some housework. 
can't believe I'm doing this. I hope the historians will never learn about this bit. Crap. The mop broke. <laughs> what an unfortunate occurrence. That tile from as you do. Now I need more light. I'll give you more light, but someone has scribbled something on it. It must be the password for the elevator, at least. It's written right over the picture of the elevator clock, exactly where a piece of the mosaic is missing. Now, we'll have to use some extraordinary dexterity. There are still more pieces. Well, no problem. I'll have that solved in no time. And... You get these. Put them in there. All is good. 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 Huh? Why doesn't this fit? I guess I'll just have to press harder. Still not right. <laughs> I'll get there. Go in. Go in. Damn thing. You're supposed to... Brilliant. What about the elevator code now? Damn it. The system reboots. <laughs> the code for the elevator has been reset. Here comes the new one. <laughs> Something really cool. R U F U. Oh yeah. You absolute monstrosity. R U F U. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? The password is Rufus. I've said it myself. Or have I gone crazy? So far, so good. Now I just have to wait. Hmm? What's that sound? An Organon cruiser? What are they doing here? Is Cletus an ally of the Organon? Well, I guess I'll have to take a closer look to find out. Hmm. <laughs> and why not? I see. The Ascension Code. That's what the catch was. Hmm. I could make a grappling hook from the ornament and the pole. Not a bad idea, but I'll wait until I really need something like that. Okay. Cletus the slap Jordy Cole. Maybe they caught that Cletus guy. I knew he'd be a whip. So what am I gonna do now? I guess it's better to remain hidden. Maybe I can find out something useful. And you're sure that this Rufus character is naive enough to bring your fiance here? Absolutely. He's a self-centered, greedy rat. The expectation to get to Elysium will lure him here. A greedy rat? Why that lousy 
I really don't understand what you see in this woman, Cletus. As far as I'm concerned, she's simply an unpredictable risk for our joint venture. Believe me, after everything she did, I'd prefer to leave her behind on Deponia too. But I need the Ascension codes to return to Elysium. And unfortunately, those codes are only stored in her brain implant. No goal, no assist. And without Ascension codes, there's no joint venture. I don't like it. Ulysses will have us both executed if he finds out that your companion is... Shush. There he comes. Annie's bailiff! Report! There's still no trace of the Deponian Prime Controller, uh, sir. Then what are you waiting for? Carry on with your search. And through this drone, the stench is unbearable. At last, it's time to put our plan into action. Yes, as you wish, Prime Controller, sir. <coughs> Let's get to work. The faster we're done here, the better. I entirely agree. I'll have a look around the platform to see if this Rufus has already arrived. You'd better not risk that rat feeling out on us before we have the Ascension. Wait a minute. That Cletus guy. He looks just like me. Maybe not as attractive as me, but how can that be? And I don't like what they were talking about. I didn't get everything they said, but they're certainly up to no good. And I can never allow gold to fall into the Organon's hands. First, I'm gonna have a word with this Cletus. Junk help him if he tries to deceive me. How did you know the password? Oh my gosh. Cletus, Rufus, finally, I face you. Oh, it's me facing you. That's what you think. I was facing you at least three seconds earlier. Keep telling yourself that, buddy boy. Enough with the discourtesies. Where is Goal? She's safe. Well, that's just perfect. Genius. No, you're the genius. We had a deal. You were supposed to bring Goal to me, and then I'd have taken you to Elysium. No Goal, no deal. So what now? So... Is still on. Only if you keep your side of the bargain and you yours. Ladies first. Grr. Why should I trust you? Why should I trust you? I asked first. What's the agreement between you and the Organon? I just tell you. Deponia is going to be blown up. What? Oh yes. I'd forgotten that I'm speaking to a Neanderthal. Deponia, boom. Boom? Yes, boom. The whole stinking pile of manure. And Elysium knows this? About the blast? Of course they do. We place the orders here. What do you think the Organons do all day? Is their mechanical beards? Who? <laughs> What will happen to the Deponians? Well, uh, scientifically speaking, they'll be converted to energy. Mm, theologically speaking, well, let's just say there won't be a star in the night sky for them. Whoa, that's serious. Well, to be honest, Deponia is believed to be uninhabited. After all, the surface was declared uninhabitable eons ago. Just when the controlled destruction was imminent, rumors started to appear. Supposedly, there were humans on Deponia. That's why the elders appointed an inspector to get an assessment of the situation. And, and? now guess who this inspector is? Uh, I am, you troglodyte! I see. Oh, one thing that I don't understand, besides the meaning of the word troglodyte, what that there are people on Deponia. They know we live here. After all, they've been terrorizing us for years. They impose custom duties, they block trading routes, and they steal babies in the northern quadrant, which uh, might just be a rumor. Ulysses had his reasons to keep Elysians in the dark. But now you know the truth. Yes, I know everything. Okay, that means... And the baby still Deponia won't be blown up, right? No, wrong. Eunice has explained it to me, and we've come to an agreement. My report to the elders will state that the planet...
planet is indeed uninhabited. Deponia will be blown up after all. Mm, do you have any problems with that? I mean, what's no, I mean, you? <laughs> You'll be safe in Elysium when that happens, won't you? Well, you do want to get to Elysium, right? Yeah, sure, but... I don't care at all, but Goal won't like it. Well, you're not wrong with that assumption. Goal has proven herself to be a risk, but that's been taken care of. What's that? That is a consciousness cartridge. To be precise, it's a memory backup of Goal's personality. Ooh, I knew that. I want it. Goal's whole character is stored on it, including all her memories. Up until she first laid eyes on Deponia and its inhabitants. She will never know what happened here. May I? Hands off! That's not a toy! <laughs> But it's sparkling. All right, great. There's no one who hates Deponia more than I do. Oh yes, how much do you hate Deponia? It stinks. Well, your deodorant does that too. My what? <laughs> There's nothing but trash around here. Yes, company included. I deserve better. That I highly doubt. There are only idiots living here. And you're living proof of that. Okay, let's just say I hate this place. I don't know. It appears to suit you well. Say what? Do you know what it's like to wake up every morning surrounded by garbage? Between leftovers and dirty laundry? The wash basin is leaking? The toilet overflows? The fridge... And the water smells like it hasn't had a bath for months. And then those permanent cries of, Rufus, do the dishes, find work, tidy up for once, get it into your thick skulls. The whole planet is a trash heap. We walk on trash. We eat junk. You want me to get my ass into gear? You my ass disappear! I'm going where potential is not just fertilizer that gets strewn on the cabbage beds! What can a man achieve in this trash heap anyway? Be freaking mayor of freaking garbage town? The job that even the noble master dodger of responsibility didn't want? Count me! You hear me, dad? Count me out! And you know something else? I hope you fell into a manure tank! I'll wave goodbye when I pass you on my way to Elysium! Look at me! Who's the filthy little litter bug now? Huh? Who's the litter bug now? <sighs> okay, okay. <Rufus. laughs> you okay. really do seem to hate Deponia. You think? Why do you bear such a striking resemblance to me? You've got that wrong. You bear a striking resemblance to me. You wish. You look more like me than I look like you. Only I am much less ugly. Oh yeah? Well, you're mm. even much, much uglier. Oh hey, yes, have you looked in a mirror lately? Yeah, that's one of my favorite pastimes. Same here. I'll go and fetch gold, finally. Hands off, damn! Now the shard is hopelessly destroyed, but the chewing gum still looks all right. <laughs> but it's no better than it was before. Deadly projectile weapon. Check. Check. All hands, battle stations.
Keep calm, Argus. We're on a junk planet here. I'm rather surprised that this lamp didn't blow up earlier. Just like this whole planet should. So please carry on. I can't get any closer. The Organons would see me. I can't do it. It's right in the sight of the Organons. Time for another stroke of genius. By that you mean? The handle is long enough, but I need something to pull the shade down to me. I've reeled in the shade already. I can't the organ on. Hmm. Together with the lampshade, the flag looks exactly like Cletus's cape. Now all that's missing is the greasy hairdo. This will be even cooler than my old lampshade routine. Genius. <laughs> Let's go. This time, I have surpassed myself. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus. Now weren't you supposed to be waiting on the platform? Well, I just wanted to stretch my legs for a minute. You can't really see him very much from up there anyway. Somehow I don't like your attitude. Well, everyone else loves my attitude. I hope you didn't forget about our agreement. How could I? So, you do have the cartridge? Uh, yes. Where is it? Oop, I'm such a scatterbrain. <laughs> I must have left it out on the platform. Hurry up, man. Time is running out. Okay, that's 33 minutes.